What up, what up, what up, what up guys? This is Dara here at the Fairway Bermuda, if you're new. Guys, I want to just come on and hop on right quick and make a video. And um, me putting down my humid char. We just had rain. And we got another round coming in at about 4 o'clock. So I want to have that humid char down. All this was just a little sprinkle. It wasn't nothing major. Like a hot rain. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put this humid char down. Let me let you take a look at the lawn. We got leaves and everything on. But first, before I do that, this tree is gone. I got a video on that. They coming out and do the stump and get this other one. So we'll get both of the stumps grind up. Yep, here's all the damage. I ain't gonna be able to repair it until next season. I'm gonna blow some of these leaves off before before I can, uh, that area right here. That come from that cloth, picking up those logs. This one right here got a little damage right here. But yeah, here's the line. I'm gonna get out and blow. Got dollar spots, see all these dollar spots. They all down here, down low. Try to make quick, I'll run over and show y'all Doug right quick. Here's this area, healing up real good. You can't hardly see it, it's this area right here. A lot of dollar spots. Oh yeah, that's the line. Got y'all the other month at the end of the season, October. Crazy, I don't understand, but we'll talk about it later. All these dollar spots. I'm gonna put a fungicide down, got a little bit on the vanity strip. There's Robbie over there. He's checking out. The lawn is still holding on to his green, guys. It's still holding on. That's where it come from uh, pounding the soil. Here's that area right here. Look at this other one right here. I might have to put sand down next season, so yeah. Keep it out. Oh, man. I'm gonna blow these leaves off so I can get that uh, humid char down. This area right here, a lot of poana up in here. Now I was a little late putting down, but that's the size, but I was a little late putting down the pre marriage. I'll show y'all that back in the back line. Man, Robbie checking out. Robbie got about three or four different types of damn gray. Oh uh, yeah, so. Still holding on a little green. I'm gonna come out here and blow this right quick, guys. I just wanted to show y'all the behind the scene. The behind the scene, nothing to hide. This is just natural. Now let's go take a look at the back. I'll show y'all what I'm gonna do. All right, here's the back. Wind been blowing four days, 25 miles per hour wind. And see, you can see what that, I was late putting down my pre emerge. I usually put it down like September, for the first week of September, certain areas you can see. But I'm gonna, I got another round of pre emerge. My second application go down in November, end of November. So hopefully I can, um, I can catch these guys. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit these with something before they start getting out of hand. Hey, here's the line I'm. Like I said, I'm gonna blow all these leaves. And this look like a, a garden of uh, turnip greens or something. Just ain't been doing too much, guys. <clears throat> Still thick green. Haven't been doing too much. Here's what I'm gonna use. Get my steel blower. This a BR700. Then here's my humid char. I'll talk to y'all a little bit about humid char before I put it down. Then I got my leap. Yeah, guys, hope everybody doing good. I appreciate everybody clicking on, guys. Thanks a lot. But uh, I'm just gonna be on but a hot split second. And um, 
and I'd like to thank everybody that uh that been uh keeping up with the channel. I appreciate that guys. It's getting down to the end of the season and I think uh, this might be my last little uh, application with the Humachar. I always put the Humachar down. I've been using Humachar ever since I've been in the home. And I put it down. They said you always need to put it down in a growing season, but I don't put it down in early, um, late fall and early spring uh, when the ground, when it's cold out here. So it, it, it still works. But that's a good product, and I'll talk to y'all a little bit more about that. Let me go ahead on and uh, take these leaves off this lawn so I can get, so I can get uh, started. We got another round of rain coming at four o'clock. It's about one o'clock, so I want that rain to take that humid side down into the soil. All right, give me a minute. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Put down the humor chart. All right, give me a minute. Hey. All right, good. Gonna put him down. Humor chart is not a fertilizer. It's not a fertilizer. You put the humor chart down. What it do? I'm sorry. What it do is it absorb uh, nutrients and water and stuff like that and give it to the, your grass when it's needed or to the roots when it's needed. You can apply it three every three to four weeks during the growing season, but I do it all all year long all season long so uh what else how long do humid char takes to work within minutes of water contact working down into the thatch layer so it don't take time water hit it guys it, it just it's like it just turns to liquid grass should be uh dry when you're putting this down and then just water it in after the application so guys that's a lot of just a few things I wanted to uh, talk to you about the uh, the Humitar. It's a 40, that's an OMRI listed. And it's a 40-pound uh, bag, covers 40,000 square feet, a lot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do half a bag now, and then about December, I put the other half down. I want to get this down before the rain comes. We got 70% chance of rain, and uh, let it get down into the thatch layer, and then Saturday and Sunday we got a six percent chance of rain, so it'll take it all the way on down there. So I don't it's a soil amendment. It, it's not a fertilizer, it's not gonna turn your lawn green, but this stuff is this is the best you can ever do uh, to put down in the in the pounding the soil, pounding your soil. You got all the spreading settle setting and all that. So what I do is and you got question all y'all just buy a bag or look this up and one thing about it is um human char is a carbon-based soil amendment containing 50 percent high quality humic acid and 50 percent uh granulated biochar so that's why i use it and it been i've been using it and uh carbon pro g is another one i was using with this you can get that at site one you can get this on i got this off amazon i don't have affiliated link to it guys so it covers a lot 98 bucks 40,000 square feet that's a lot so I'm gonna use half of it today guys and uh throw it down pound the soil that's all I like to do around here is pound my soil I don't worry about the grass and um and it's used less fertilizer this here human tribe makes it helps you to not use so much fertilizer because it stores it and then it's a nice place that the microbes, you got little microbes in the soil, and it's like a honeycomb 
once it get down into the soil, microbes can go and uh, have a place to, to camp out at. You feel? All right, guys, let me get this stuff down and uh, I'll show y'all a few clips of me doing it. And uh, I'll see y'all when I see you. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. All right, hold on. Try not to talk so much, guys. This what it looked like. Oh, go no fall. This what it looked like. Okay. I'm gonna show you what it looked like when it's wet. This is what it looked like. Small particles that covers real good. So you won't miss a spot. See what I'm talking about? All right, let me pull this stuff up. Like I always tell you, I ain't gonna hold it. I don't know what setting I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put a half a bag down. I'm not gonna put it down. I'm not measuring and all that, you know? Sorry about that, you don't have to measure. Time water hit it, disappears. It just turns to black liquid. Good, get down to the thatch layer. I don't want it on 10. I always like to start off on like four and see how it go and see how I like it. Then I can bump it up because I want to do, uh, I want to have multiple passes so I can get a nice coverage. But I'm just, just going to put this half a bag down. Then December or January, I'll come down and put the other half bag. It's some awesome stuff, guys. No lie, awesome, awesome stuff. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but it's all about uh, the soil. Human char, carbon, and uh, biochar would not leave the soil. It was stayed in there for years, hundreds of years. And uh, I've noticed that when I dig my lawn up, how dark my lawn is for, from using it, chicken feed and all other kind of stuff that I use. All right, guys, let me get this shit down. All right, hey. Right, guys they're gonna get it thanks for watching and uh yeah i'm gonna do an update on duck it ain't been but a, about a week and a half and they dying slowly but i want to bring it uh show more uh, of them dying before i go over and do an update and uh thank y'all for watching thanks for clicking on thank all my subscribers thank you guys that comment uh reggie murphy tony brown 737 mr Mc mr bd and over there i see you guys always in the comment jimmy miller always in the comment uh oliver hey y'all check this out oliver got a, a youtube channel and it's my lawn story go over there and get that guy a shout he has some great content and i really appreciate it. he always come in and uh we always chit chatting and uh you go over there it's called my lawn story and that's oliver check him out all right guys this dirt here at the Fairway Bermuda. Peace out. The season ain't over with yet. And I'm out. Peace. Time to do it right. Sweet. Peace.